What's up YouTube? I'm back with another review just for you guys. Man, I thought we had done it. I thought we had passed all the disappointing movies, but nope, we're still getting them. This time, age actor director Clint Eastwood returns with yet another film, this time starring megastar Tom Hanks as Captain Chelsea, Sully Sullenberger in... So in this movie, based on a true story, Sully is the pilot of a plane that crashes into the Hudson on January 15, 2009. There were 155 passengers on board, and both engines failed simultaneously when a flock of birds flew into the engine. So Sully managed to successfully land the, the plane on the Hudson with absolutely no loss of life. And then the superiors investigate foul play, and there's a trial. And don't worry, this is sounding more and more like Flight with Denzel Washington, that movie that came out three years ago. Don't worry, they're basically the same movie, this one just happens to be based on a real a, a story, and much, much more boring. See, I'm not knocking Clint Eastwood as a director, considering the dude won two Best Pictures and two Best Directing Oscars. Now, granted, he did not have the pleasure of having too much competition both years he won, but the thing about him is that because he's getting a little older, he's not really as invested in the actual filmmaking process, at least from what I see. And unfortunately, it does show. See, he's very keen on doing one take and being done with it, and that's almost never a good idea, and unfortunately, the movie does suffer for it. Performance-wise, the performances are fine, I guess. Tom Hanks is fine in it. He's always good, but he's certainly not his best work. He's another guy whose age is starting to show like just a little bit because, yeah, he's still acting a lot, but I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like there's something missing between this and Bridge of Spies. I feel like he hasn't done like a really big, huge role in a while. I did enjoy Aaron Eckhart, though, but certainly absolutely no Oscar buzz is going to come towards any one of these two. The plot was really weirdly paced, too, considering we didn't actually get to the crash itself until about 45 minutes into the movie, not to mention that each flashback just felt really, really long, and the movie suffers from a couple of factors going in, number one being the lack of stakes, since the revelation that everyone survives really takes away all the tension, at least in my opinion. Even the actual crashing, I was just relaxed because I didn't really feel invested in it. Number two, of course, was the fact that the movie suffered from being released after flight, a movie that, while fictional, had basically the same plot, albeit a much more compelling story and, in my opinion, a far superior performance from Denzel Washington. A movie that had potential, but just ended up being kind of eh, a massive step down from, pre from Eastwood's previous hit, American Sniper, and just an overall lackluster movie. I'm only giving this movie 4 out of 10 stars. It was by no means a bad movie, I'm not saying that. It was just kind of meh. Great movie to watch with your grandparents, though. For more on me in general, follow me on Twitter, at MovieNerdReview, or go to my website, MovieNerdReviews.com. That's it. I'll see you guys next time.